Hello everyone, I am Dr. Tanmay Vishwas. I welcome you all in my channel Chemistry of the Mystery of Molecules. In today's discussion, we will discuss about coal gasification. I mean conversion of coal into carbon monoxide and hydrogen which could further be utilized for other fuel preparation like methanol. And is it good for environment? So this thing we shall discuss. So first thing is dirty coal to useful fuel like this carbon monoxide and hydrogen mixture which is called a syngas and second how it can impact the cold rich developing countries economy keeping the factor of global warming and climate change in mind. So lots of chemistry will be discussed in this video before going to details one MCQ for you which of the gas is least toxic to human four options are provided I request everyone to attempt this question in the comment box. And don't worry, at the end of the discussion, you'll have the right answer. Now, let's go to the main topic. What is coal gasification? Actually, conversion of a solid coal into gaseous mixture called syngas. This syngas is a mixture of carbon monoxide, hydrogen, carbon dioxide, methane, and water. And who oxidizes this coal? Oxygen from air or atmosphere. Previously, it was also known as town gas, but after discovery of natural gas from oil extraction, so its utilization was reduced, but nowadays it is discussed in different ways such that it can prepare fuel from coal too. Now, how to achieve this coal gasification? There are actually two ways. One from isolated coal, means this is carbon, oxygen, under very high temperature, 1 to 2, 5 degrees centigrade, very high pressure. So you can say drastic condition, it produces the seen gas mixture. Mainly these two are acting as fuel. Another method is from non-isolable coal because such kind of coals are not profitable for mining. So there is a very small layer of carbon here, here. So you cannot directly take it out by mining but you can utilize in this way so if you can't use it by mining then it's a waste so it's a utilization of that fuel how so two wells need to be drilled one here one here so this is output so you can take the gas out and first drill a pipe up to this layer and parallel to this layer drilling is done and after that they do a control burning of this underground coal and produces this gas and takes out by the way whatever ashes produce remains there and if this layer all coal finish then they dig here another two wells and collect the energy this way and the output gas could be utilized directly for electricity production or chemical production like methanol so it is a utilization of a very depth layer coal to this gas mixture so how this reaction is carried out? What is the chemistry behind coal gasification? Overall reaction, if I say it's a conversion of carbon to carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide and hydrogen. Obviously, oxygen and water is needed here. Oxygen acting as an oxidizing agent. Since we are talking about coal means carbon richness of the coal. Remember the four categories. One, anthracite, bituminous, lignite and peat. Peat is least carbon content coal and anthracite is very good. By the way, such kind of low grade coal could be utilized for this purpose too. Now, if you look at the chemical reaction associated here, so first is actually incomplete combustion of carbon in presence of limited oxygen or controlled air where it produces carbon monoxide. If you allow extra oxygen, then complete combustion happen produces carbon dioxide in terms of excess air. Next, carbon under high temperature can react with steam and produce carbon monoxide and hydrogen. This mixture is called water gas. And this carbon monoxide can further react with steam and produce carbon dioxide and hydrogen. And this step is called water gas shift reaction. And finally, at this high temperature, carbon dioxide even can react with carbon and produce carbon monoxide. Now, from there, it looks very interesting reaction. But where is the problem? You may consider, sir, problem is production of carbon dioxide. Why? Because carbon dioxide is not at all a fuel. Carbon monoxide hydrogen mixture is a fuel. But why this carbon dioxide? Can't we avoid this? In order to know this, we need to understand the energetics of this process means which of the step producing how much energy. Now, if you look at here that I am talking about enthalpy. If 
a reaction releases energy that's called exothermic and in this case the delta H is negative. Endothermic heat absorption this delta H value is positive. Now look at here equation A, B and D. These three are exothermic and by the way if you look at option D is very less exothermic minus 41. C is also moderate but look at option B it is highly exothermic huge amount of energy is released and these released energy helps to carry out these two step option C and option E because these steps are endothermic energy consuming this delta H value positive. So in order to make this reaction happen we need to burn carbon or coal completely such that huge amount of energy released and that is utilized to prepare this fuel mixture. So CO2 preparation is unavoidable here. Now overall what you learned that coal is converted into three gaseous mixture mainly carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, hydrogen. By the way water will be there because it's a reactant. Now is it really safe? Because we know carbon monoxide is actually extremely toxic so safety measures are essential and it is highly desirable that such kind of extraction facility should be in remote place away from locality such that people doesn't get avoided. Why? Because since it's actually it's extremely poisonous and very low level of carbon dioxide I mean nearly 70 ppm can result symptoms like headache, fatigue, nausea etc. But it is not that much dangerous. But if the level cross 150 or 200 ppm, disorientation, unconsciousness and even deaths are possible. And what is ppm? Ppm means the amount with, of carbon monoxide present with respect to 10 to the power 6 molecules of gases parts per million. So in 1 million how much present? So from there you can understand it is extremely toxic even in very low concentration. So that is the main concern for this process. But this is actually beneficial I would say economically too. For whom? For coal rich developing countries like India who has enough coal but they do not have enough petroleum. So they can utilize their coal to prepare this mixture later on methanol. So this is important because Presently, we are producing power from coal-based power plants and it is not that much easy to shift from coal-based power plant to renewable because we know coal is the most dirty fuel in the world and sadly, majority of world's electricity is produced from coal till now. So we need to shift slowly. So first, this coal to seen gas could be an alternate infrastructure to shift or to decrease that our dependence on coal. Second thing, India is producing huge amount of solar electricity and solar electricity is not available 24 hours only in daytime when the demand is not that much higher. So the extra renewable energy produced at that time could be utilized to prepare green hydrogen. By the way, I have already discussed a dedicated lecture on green hydrogen. Please visit for further learning. And these green hydrogen could be combined with the syn gas and it could be utilized to produce methanol. Even this green hydrogen could be utilized to reduce the extra carbon dioxide produced. What is the benefit of this process? So the CO2 emission will be less. These carbon monoxide will be utilized further to prepare more amount of methanol. So in this way, CO2 emission will be reduced and it will provide temporary relief for global warming and climate change because we are adding a renewable energy green hydrogen here. So overall if I say from coal energy we are producing carbon dioxide and hydrogen. From renewable energy we are producing hydrogen. Even the produced carbon dioxide could be converted to CO2 which could be utilized here. And by chemical reaction we can prepare methanol first. And later on these methanol could be converted into other hydrocarbon fuels or chemicals. And this is very important for oil deficient countries. Why? Because in this way we can produce liquid fuel in our country. And nowadays even the big ships are planning to shift from their existing heavy oil to methanol in order to reduce pollution. 
So countries like India who imports huge amount of oil from abroad, they can reduce it and they can save huge amount of forex reserve and extra forex reserve could be utilized for climate friendly program. You need to arrange some pathway such that you can save some money and you can utilize it. And since this methanol have one carbon, so that's why it could be utilized for C1 fed stock. Why? Because we are planning to shift completely from liquid hydrocarbon petroleum to renewables. Remember, petroleum doesn't supply fuel only. It is a source of our chemical industry. It's a backbone. So if we do not use petroleum, how we can produce chemical? We need some other sources. These methanol could be another game changer in this context because this methanol could be utilized to make many other chemicals too. So these reaction can also helps to attain the chemical security to the countries along with the energy security. So it is a very important from economic, environmental, many point of view. Now in conclusion, what I have learned that this process is relatively better, I'd say for environmental point of view, because direct burning of coal result lots of air pollution and the energy production with respect to one molecule of coal is very less because when we react one molecule of carbon with oxygen, it produces one molecule of carbon dioxide plus energy. But if you burn this gas mixture, I mean carbon monoxide and hydrogen. So here during this burning CO2 is produced along with water is also produced from where this water is produced by burning of hydrogen. So additional burning and water is also stable molecule. So it's burning produces huge amount of energy. So output of this gas burning is more. Now another thing we are adding hydrogen here because green hydrogen whatever it could be produced. So that is added here. So that extra hydrogen will add extra energy output for this process. So this is beneficial. So you can conclude here that the energy output with respect to one molecule CO2 emission syngas plus green hydrogen mixture compared to carbon burning and it could be utilized to prepare higher hydrocarbons, chemicals, etc. Even this syngas to methanol it could be game changer for developing countries as I said just some time before. Now let's go back to our MCQ. Which of the gas is least toxic to human by the way? Answer is carbon dioxide because carbon monoxide is extremely toxic in very less amount. I have explained even sulfur dioxide also comparable toxicity it has. And if you look at potassium cyanide, it is not a gas student, it's a solid. So it's a dummy option. So option B is the right answer. Before ending the video, I request you to write your opinion in the comment box. What do you think? It is very important because your opinion will also reflect your society and your society will also reflect the climate policy of your country. So this is the end of the discussion. Thanks for watching. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.